My name is Aaron McMullen and I'm a project manager for Insitu Form Technologies. We're doing a project here in Kelowna, BC. It includes uh, 2.7 kilometers of cured in place pipe, otherwise known as CIPP. It is a substantial sewer renewal project for us. This particular pipe was installed in the early 80s. We can see exposed aggregate, the rebar caging is exposed as well, and it's been degraded. It really is bad right now, so we had to kind of take action right away. Most of our clients are municipalities. Uh, we're dealing with the drainage system of, of cities and towns. So the biggest advantage is cost. Like you're, you talk about the digging. When you're digging, you have underground utilities, you have the road, um, even the heaving afterwards, once you dig and replace a pipe by conventional means, by excavation, over time it'll settle and you'll have road issues where with in situ form, cured in place pipe, complete trenchless technology. We don't do any disruption from digs. We utilize the manholes for access, we reline it, and there's no digging. I mean, initially the, our utility planning team was thinking of doing the more traditional remove and replace and excavate, and they determined that it was not the best use of capital money and so they figured when it was transferred to delivery they said let's do uh, an internal lining CIPP and so far it's gone really well and it's brand new infrastructure as far as we're concerned. The project itself is very complex especially a trunk main like this one. Bypass sometimes is harder than actually lining so you, you got to really be conscious of how you divert that flow. It's jointless pipe meaning in theory there's no way for the, the bypassed wastewater to escape and we're crossing Mill Creek and we did a directional drill under very busy roadways in, in, in Spall Road at Clement, one of the busiest intersections in Kelowna, so to even suggest that it was not something that we would have come up with on our own. So yeah, I've been very, very happy with this project team. The traffic around here is quite busy, so that was a good challenge. Uh, developing safe traffic plans that allow my guys to be safe while working on the road and for the traffic to flow somewhat normally. I understand there are some disruptions. Once the bypass was set up, we were able to come in and start cleaning the lines. Uh, and then finally, after the lines were cleaned, we would go and line them as you see behind us. So right now they're, uh, they're inserting the CIPP liner through a inversion gland and uh, we, we push the liner through using air pressure. It goes down into one manhole and it's inverted through the pipe and um, is terminated in the next manhole up. We then cut out the ends of the liner and uh, reinstate the pipe. We can get 200 meters installed in a day uh, whereas that would take weeks to months doing it a traditional way by digging up the road. So it's a lot less traffic impact, a lot less impact to just the residents in general, less noise. We don't have the excavators on site digging everything up for 24 hours a day. Uh, it's a very good setup for the city. Um, it's just an easy way for them to, to rehabilitate these old sewers. Buried infrastructure for a municipality is very important. It's, it's part of a healthy, sustainable city. It's the unseen uh, benefit but the unseen problem that you just don't know about not many people think about so if, when it's running poorly it's a big problem it could be an environmental concern safety concern personal safety so it's very important to a municipality uh, and as a PM that we that we deliver strong infrastructure for a, a strong city we essentially have a brand new pipe for uh, you know a fraction of the cost and the disruption to, to the community and the citizens so we, we think it was the right solution on average, when you're looking at small diameter, four to five meters deep, we're probably a fifteenth or less of the price than open cut, and and the time frame is not even close. So when you're looking at all that, it, it's a technology that has really taken off over the last 10, 15 years. And for cities, it's not invasive and it's it's pretty simple to use, and you save a lot of money. So that's what cities are looking for, and that's what we're trying to provide.